All right, so over the years, and I looked this up this morning, it's pretty wild. I've owned about a thousand FJ40s. It was like 990 something. I and mean, that doesn't include the many I bought and sold before I realized this is actually a business and did out of my house. Back then it was cash and carry with no database, so I have no idea. Probably over a thousand. Of all of the FJ40s I have had and all the stories I've heard and all the FJs I've seen, even in like Toyota's museums around the world, nothing gets close to this truck. It's ridiculous. All right, so 1978, Wyoming. Local guy goes to the dealership and he buys this truck. He drives it through to the end of the summer and then he packs it away. But I don't mean packs it away like puts it in the garage, packs it away. This guy was a wholesale carpet merchant and he built a carpet lined wooden crate, put the truck in the crate, picked it up with forklifts and put it up on a cantilever high up on the wall in his office. His thinking was, or in his warehouse, his thinking was that from his office he could see it and it would remind him of his retirement dream, which was going to be to drive around the country, visit every state and national park in the FJ. So unfortunately, this gentleman with unique foresight passed away before he was able to fulfill that dream. Now, as his family was clearing out the estate, his kids remembered there's some kind of Jeep up there in that crate. They brought it down, they poked a hole in the crate, and they took a look inside and they said, oh, that's one of them Toyota Jeeps. We don't want that. We thought it was a Jeep Jeep. Fortunately, the attorney who was managing the estate knew about my TLC brand, knew about me, and he reached out. When he told me this story, like, to say I jumped on it would be a ridiculous understatement. Like, I didn't even wait for photos. I said, no problem. I'm in, I bought it, transported it to the shop, and it's just ridiculous. So this is a 1978 FJ40 with 5,272 miles on it right now as I'm driving it. It is absolute like time warp condition. Now I've seen FJs with lower miles, like there's one that has like 2,000 miles that I'm aware of, but those 2,000 miles were doing snow patrol duty in a parking lot in Connecticut, so it's like, it's pretty darn bad. But to see one with this kind of hyper original miles in this just pristine condition just blows your mind, you know? So it's a 78, it's a US spec truck. It still has all the emissions equipment on it. It is as delivered by Toyota when new. The only things that I am aware of that have been changed on this truck include the rubber seal on the hard top, the tires, the battery, and the fuel filter. Now, we've dialed it in, we've done some minor service work, brought it out of its slumber, but we're hyper, hyper careful to use all the original parts. Now, I sold this truck to a good friend and client, I think back in 2000, and he added it to his FJ collection, and unfortunately now, he needs to sell it because he's selling that property and trimming down. Now, that's unfortunate for him, but fortunate for us, right? I mean, I don't even know where to start. You know, let's start with, it's a US spec truck. So I'm seeing a lot of Land Cruisers come into the market right now. I would argue the majority of them in the market are non-USA models. So they're from Japan or Australia, Central South America. But be careful there because if you live in California, Colorado, New York State, many states, they're not smog legal. So that's a disaster because even the head on the motor, it doesn't even have the drilled sections to receive the smog part. So it's not like you can just add them. And also next to impossible to find if you could add them because so many people lack the forethought and threw them all away over the years. So as a US spec truck, that means it has power assisted disc brakes, disc in the front, drum in the rear. It has the full synchro four speed manual tranny with a part-time four wheel drive, two speed transfer case. 
It has the more evolved 2F engine with the better carburetor, the US spec carb. This truck, the only other thing I almost forgot that we added at our previous client's request was air conditioning. But again, we were careful to add the AC that is totally non-invasive. So functionality is killer, but if it bugs you, it's easily removed and the truck can be returned to stock. No harm, no foul, but it's nice to have. In fact, I'm blazing it right now. You just don't find them like this. The reality of a restoration to this caliber, it would cost more than the value of this truck currently. And as we all know, they're only an original once, so it's just, you, you can't reproduce it. All the way down to the decals for like unleaded fuel only and all the engine bay decals, they're not available. A few of them are being reproduced, but you just, you can't recreate the virginity of this truck. It's never even had a radio in it. It still has the coveted T-symbol radio delete plate in the dash. It has the only options that were available at this time from the factory in that it is a high altitude model and it has the front and rear heaters, which are kind of cool as long as you don't stick your finger in them. High altitude model, you might ask, what does that really mean? Well, it means next to nothing. Supposedly the jets and the carburetor were different, but I've never felt the difference. And then you have these groovy little black plastic thingamajiggers on the dash. And when you have the heater or defrost mode going, air is routed to them and they clear that section of your window so you can actually see your rear view mirrors. So I don't know what else to tell you. If you have any questions, reach out. But I will assure you, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity when it comes to FJ40s. The year is killer. The conditions are absolutely unmatched. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Uh, hopefully my listing's hyper thorough. So the original jack kit, the original owner's manual, the original tool kit, original upholstery, the original headliner, blah, blah, blah. TLC4x4.com for more information or you can give us a call old school at 818-280-3330. I thank you for your time.